All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little little 49er mock draft 1.0. We've yet to do one. Today will be the first mock draft of the 2024 season. And, of course, we're brought to you by Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. Pig and a Pickle. We're also brought to you by Marin Auto Glass, 415-883-3030. Thank you to Marin Auto Glass for sponsoring the Krug Show as well as Underdog Fantasy. Check the link in the description. Use the promo code KRUG. K-R-U-E-G, and they will match you up to your first $100. And this month, we have two additional sponsors, Sharp Corner Sports Cards and Collectibles. They're at 205 Cypress Avenue in Pacific Grove. Call Anthony Catania at 831-521-5264. We're also brought to you by ValleyHillRoofing.net, 209-481-6851. The website links are both listed in the description. All right, it is that time. Um, the Super Bowl came and went the combines coming up here in a couple weeks and it is officially NFL draft season. The draft is coming up on April the 25th. So we're basically about two and a half, maybe two months and a week or so away from the NFL draft. Um, so we thought, okay, let's do a mock draft. We haven't done a mock draft, um, since last year. And we will do one right here. So we'll share the screen right now so we can get our mock draft underway. I'm For this purposes, I'm going to use the NFL mock draft simulator from Pro Football Network. Um, I've used it before. I'm going to go seven rounds. Um, and in this mock draft, we are going to project a, a potential trade uh, for Brandon Ayuk with the Raiders. So we'll see, we're going to hit let's draft and then it's going to fast forward to the Niners pick. Then we'll go back, which is 31 in the first round. Then we'll go back to the first, we'll go back to, um, to, you know, where the Raiders picked in the first round and we'll see what exactly the Raiders did in their first round pick. Um, and then we'll take it from there. Let's see. Now, how do we hide this? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, and and in this mock draft, we won't do trades. We'll just do. We'll just make the initial trade, like this pick right here. I would definitely make this deal. Pick from thirty-one to thirty-two with Kansas City and get their pick number one thirty-two. In fact, I'll just accept that. Maybe we we'll, we'll, we will do some trades. Um, and then I'm not going to do that trade for the bears. I'm not going to do that trade. So I'll reject that and reject that. Okay. So here we are. Um, now we have, we'll see exactly, you know, what we're, let's see exactly what happened at the beginning of this draft. So the Raiders pick 13 and on the board at that point is Taliesi Fuaga as well as Leatu Latu from UCLA, Quinion Mitchell, uh, J.C. Latham. So I'm in, just for the sake of this mock draft, let's just say the Raiders traded their 13th pick for Brandon Ayuk, um, and we'll take J.C. Latham. So now we have J.C. Latham instead of Brandon Ayuk. All right, now we're at pick 63, and so let's see who's on the board. Um, there's... Tyler Guyton, but we already have J.C. Latham there. So we don't really have that need at tackle. Uh, now we have more of a need at wide receiver. Cameron Kinchins is a favorite of mine. Safety from Miami. Darius Robinson was the practice player of the week at the Senior Bowl. He's a defensive lineman from Missouri who can play inside and outside. Heck, Michael Penix is still there. Tavondre Sweat is still there. There's a lot of good players still on the board, including Edron Cooper, um, Michael Hall. I'm going to go with TJ Tampa. TJ Tampa is a corner from Iowa State um, who really hits. 6'1", 200 pounds, projected to run a low 4'4", 40. Um, this guy, is a, he only has one career interception, but he's very physical. 
and um, he'll hit you. He'll set the edge in the run game. Um, I like TJ Tampa. So we will close that, and we will draft TJ Tampa. All right, TJ Tampa is now on the board. So now we have J.C. Latham and TJ Tampa. We're at pick 63, which is now in round two. And I've got offers here to move back 14 spots with the Texans um, for pick. In addition to pick 132 and 63, I get 77 and 86. I'm also being offered 63. I'm, I'm offering 63 and 214 for 121, 145, 143, and 145, as well as their third and fourth. But I'm going to say no. I'm going to reject both trades. All right, so now let's see who's on the board. Um, you know, so take a look at my picks. It says TJ Tampa, but we know we got we got Latham as well. So we got the right tackle, starting right tackle. We got a starting corner. Um, that's what we have so far. Okay, now as far as available, often let's just take a look at who's the, the t- highest rated players on the board. A uh, Rook Aurora uh, from Clemson is a really powerful defensive tackle. I really like McKinley Jackson is a interior player from Texas A and M. I really like Brandon w- Roman Wilson is a good receiver, but you know what? With no um, yeah, and there's some good Xavier Leggett. I could get the receiver there, Devontae Walker, um, but you know what? I, I'm I'm tempted to go with the defensive tackles, but um, I love Cedric Gray, the linebacker from North Carolina. Uh, over the past three seasons, he's accumulated 340 tackles, 28 tackles for loss, eight sacks, five picks, 12 pr- pass breakups, five forced fumbles, five fumble recoveries. This guy is a player. This guy is a plug-and-play player. He's going to start right away opposite uh, – Fred Warner in Dre Greenlaw's spot until Greenlaw gets healthy. I'm taking Cedric Gray out of North Carolina. All right. So now looking at my picks, I've got TJ Tampa, Cedric Gray, and of course I've got JC Latham that I started off in my deal for Iuke. Um, so I've got the tackle spot. I've got a corner. I've got a linebacker. And let's see who we go with now. Devontae Walker is here, and I could replace – uh, Ayuk with Devontae Walker. Um, James Williams is a safety slash linebacker that's really special, but it's a little bit of a projection there. Braden Fisk is interesting because he is a defensive tackle from Florida State uh, who's really, you know, 6'5, 305, good, good motor, plays really, really hard. Uh, that one's tough. Mason Smith's a good player from, from LSU. Uh, wow. Cam Hart is a, is a really good corner from Notre Dame. Ricky Pearsall's a really nice receiver from Florida. Brendan Rice is right there. Um, right now we're at pick 94 and we also pick at pick number 98. (sighs) Well, I'm going to go, let's see. Defensive line, if we went looked at the defensive linemen, there's Braden Fisk, there's Jordan Jefferson. Uh, no. Do I go defensive end? I really love Javon Solomon. I really love Muhammad Kamara. I probably you know don't need to go linebacker again. Already went uh, cornerback. Safety, I really like Jalen Carleys from, from uh, safety from Missouri. Like Kenny Logan from Kansas, like Proctor from Ohio State, uh, they're all on the board. Like Dadrian Taylor Demerson from Texas Tech, um, Dejon Anthony from Ole Miss, it's one of my favorites. So there's a lot of safety still sitting there. All right, let's flip over to the offense. Let's see what's who's the best players on the board. Michael Pratt, the quarterback from Tulane, is not bad, but you know, come on, they're not looking for a quarterback. Running back, the room's pretty set. Now, wa- wide receiver. You can get Devontae Walker. Um, he's 6'3". He's got good good wheels. You know, you're talking about a guy who probably is a vertical threat. His hands are just okay. 
just okay. And you got Brendan Rice right there, who I really like. Uh, tight end wise, Dallin Holker is not bad. Theo Johnson's a big bodied guy. Do you go offensive line again? You could. I really like Javon Foster. Man, that's a tough one. Do you go Javon Foster? Um, you go interior. Bo Limmer is one of my favorites as well, but I don't know. Man, these are these are tough calls. I think I'm probably going to go defensive line here. I'm going to go Braden Fisk. I love the motor that I saw at um, at the Senior Bowl, and you know, I mean, there's he's pretty he's 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 it looks like a guy who could rush the passer a little bit. All right, now you have an they have an, a chance to move back what uh, thirteen spots and pick up a fifth round pick next year. I'm going to reject that. So let's see. We'll go all, see who's on the board. Um, Blake Fisher's interesting from Notre Dame. Uh, who else? Who else? Jalen Ford. Kyrie Jackson's a good corner from Oregon. Pearsall. But I'm going to go with Jerry's kid. I like Jerry's kid. And where are we in the draft here? We're at pick number 94. So we're in the back half of round three. I believe in Brendan Rice. I really do. I like Brendan Rice. Um, started at Colorado, transferred to um, to SC. They say he's a tall, vertical playmaker, isn't a refined route runner or a dominant athlete, yet he has good speed and size at 6'3", 205. Rotational piece. I like Jerry Rice's kid. I really do. Not because of Jerry, just because I like the way this kid is. This kid's very serious about his about his game. So I'm going to take Brendan Rice. All right, so now I'm in pick 124. And let's take a look. We'll, re- we'll uh, take a look at our picks here. Um, so far, you've got the tackle in J.C. Latham. you got the corner in T.J. Tampa. you got the linebacker in Cedric Gray. you got a defensive tackle in Braden Fisk. you got the wide receiver in Brendan Rice. Uh, Braden Fisk, I should say. Brendan Rice is the, and then you still pick 124, 131. Okay, so this, now I'm looking at this trade offer. You, you're picking again in seven picks. So you, you're picking again in seven picks. So you could pretty much have almost any of the players on the board right here. But this trade offer is really intriguing. Three for one. You can go from 124 to 147 and get 174 and 234. I'm going to I'm going to go 3 for 1 there and go depth and feel like I can unearth some good players later in the draft. So I'm going to accept that trade at 124. All right, so now I'm at 131 and I've got picked 236 and if I move back seven more spots, I can move up from 236 to 182. Um Let's see. Do I do I do that? Who's who are the best players on the board right now? All right, I really love um, Bo Limmer from uh, Arkansas, the center. Um, I really like uh, Ray Davis, the running back from Kentucky, but that's not a need. I like the safety from Missouri, Carly's, quite a bit. Uh, Aaron Casey's a really good linebacker. Tyrese Knight, really good linebacker. Uh, Casey plays at Indiana. Knight plays at UTEP. Both those guys are impressive to me. And I like Javon Foster. So, and I'm sitting there at 131 and 132. And I can move back. So I'm going to move back. I'm going to move back in and make this trade. So I'm going to accept that trade. Now I'm at 132. Um, and I can go two for one again here if I want to move back again, but I'm, I think I'm going to reject that trade and just take Javon Foster. Javon Foster is an offensive tackle from Missouri. Now you already have an offensive tackle, but you're also going to need your future left tackle. And I think Javon Foster could groom in behind, uh, behind Trent Williams and they could draft both, you know, both their tackles in this draft. So I'm going to take Javon Foster from Missouri. All right, now I got one pick 138, and I can move back 10 spots to 148. 
I, I pick at 147. Um, how many picks do I really want at the end of the day? That's the question. Let's take a look. My picks... I have one, two, three, four, five plus the say, plus the the one I traded for Ayuk. So I got six players, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight more picks. So I mean, I basically have everything I want here, um, but I could get higher picks by moving back ten spots. Do I do that? I'm going to reject that. I'm going to reject that. All right, so now who do we got? Who's on the board here? Uh, Amani Bailey, the running back from TCU. A lot of speed there. That would be a nice one. Um, Hooker, Holker, the tight end from Colorado State. Not bad. Okay, he's not a bad player. Um, but I really want to make sure that I, I, I really think the player that I'm getting is, is really a hell of a player. I really like Ladarius Henderson. As a pulling guard, he played for Michigan this year. He wore number 73. Um, 6 5 three, ten. They list him as a tackle, but he might be a guard. But that's an awful lot to put into your offensive line in one year. There's also Sam Hartman. If I want that third quarterback. Um, Josh Proctor is a good safety. I love what I saw from Christian Jones. Uh, the big tackle from Texas in the in he might be able to be a guard. Do you go offensive line three times? I don't know. Blake Watson's really intriguing. Very fast uh, running back, but he's 5'9", 195. So he's not a big back. Uh, I'm going to go edge rusher here. I'm going to go with Muhammad Kamara. You need some pass rush. I like Kamara. I know there's a lot of people that are not as sold on Kamara. Uh, he's a little bit undersized, but man, this guy can this guy can really go hunt the quarterback. Um, he's a little on the short side, but I love his athleticism coming off the edge. So I've got him. Now let's see what else do I what else am I looking for here? Uh, now it's kind of you're they're kind of in a best player available mode. Um, Sundiata Anderson's interesting. He's an edge rusher from Grambling, but he's only about two thirty. Uh, Maima Nongjong Meda, the linebacker from Wisconsin, is really productive, but he's 5'11, 240. So, uh, and I'm not sure about the 40 time on him yet. Um, Willie Drew, a cornerback from Virginia State. I really like Willie Drew. Do I go corner again right there? Dwight McLaughlin is a good corner from Arkansas. Really like him. Uh, Dadrian Taylor Demerson, the safety from Texas Tech, is really solid. So maybe do I go safety? You know, this is this is real, now we're in the part of the draft where it's really beauty in the eye of the beholder. Darius Muasu, Muasau from uh, UCLA. I saw him in the East West Shrine game. He does, you know, he runs and hits. Uh, he's a pretty good linebacker. Jarvis Brownlee, the Florida State transfer, the corner from Florida State from uh, Louisville, he's not bad. So there, um, man, this is tough. This is really tough. Um, I'm gonna go. I, I want to go best player available here. Let me see what the defensive tackles look like. Um, I'm gonna go best player available, and I think the best player available may be. Uh, this kid right here, Nathaniel Watson, who was the SEC Defensive Player of the Year. This guy made like 21 tackles in the Egg Bowl. I watched this kid, Nathaniel Watson. He's just too damn productive for me. I, I can't pass on that. That's too, When you're the SEC Defensive Player of the Year, you're the best defensive player in the best defensive conference. I love that one. All right, we're at pick 175. And it just happens to, this is one of my favorite players in the entire draft. His name's Kalen Deloach. And he just flies all over the place and makes plays. So he's another linebacker. You really don't need any more linebackers now because you got him. But uh, let's take a look at my pick. So I've got, I've got um, obviously I started this draft trading Ayuk. So I've got, you know, I've got uh, J.C. Latham, the big right tackle, plug and play tackle. I got TJ Tampa, who's a starting corner. 
solidifies the cornerback spot. I got my replacement for Dre Greenlaw for this year in Cedric Gray. I've got a real high motor defensive tackle in Braden Fisk. Um, I'm going to need more on that defensive line, but I got Brandon Rice, who's a receiver who I really like. Javon Foster, another offensive lineman. I got an edge rusher in Muhammad Kamara. I got two more linebackers in Watson and Deloach. So I really don't need any more linebackers for sure. And I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five more picks. Five more picks. All right, let's take a look. Who's the best player available on the board? Um, And what do I need? Um, I don't need a linebacker. I do need another D lineman. Probably don't need another offensive lineman. Could use a tight end. Could use another receiver. Let's take a look at some of these offensive players. Who are the best receivers? Isaiah Williams is not bad from Illinois. Um, He's interesting. Cornelius Johnson's a size speed guy from Michigan. Not bad. Don't love a lot of those receivers. Marcus Rosemi, Jack Saint, not bad. Not bad. I'm not sure if I love them, though. Um, Who else? Looking at these receivers. Jaquan Burton, I really like. A lot of speed. Florida, Florida, Florida Atlantic. Uh, kind of a bigger-bodied guy. Let's take a look at the tight ends. Um, McLaughlin, McLaughlin from, from Arizona is not bad. No question there. That's D. Ford's kid, Brevin Spanford, the tight end from Minnesota. He's big, 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 big player. Uh, Westover is not bad from Washington. The Utah tight end's not bad. Hmm. I don't know. I was looking for, you know, the Stanford tight end I really like as well, but I'm not sure if he's in the draft or not. Um, Offensive guards, McCormick, Mason McCormick's not bad from South Dakota State. Um, Let's see. I like Bo Limmer, but I think he's probably gone from, uh, yeah, he's gone from Arkansas. So let's take a look at the defense. It's always harder as this thing goes on. Um, All the defensive players out there. Hmm. Uh, Cedric Johnson from Ole Miss. Sundiata Anderson from Grambling. Like both those guys. Uh, Willie Drew. Do I go another corner? Hmm. Dadrian Taylor Demerson. Do I go another another, uh, safety? I uh, can't go linebacker, though. There's some good ones there. Evan Anderson I really like, and Marcus Harris. I like these two guys, but I like them more late than I like them now. Um, let's see. There's some good corners in this draft, and you can never have enough good corners. I'm going to take Willie Drew. I like Virginia State's Willie Drew. All right, so now I'm picking at 213. And we'll say who's the best player on the board. Tyrese Knight's a big, big fan of Tyrese Knight, uh, but they, there's no need for 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 that because you've got you know you've got other players. Blake Watson. You know what? I'm going Blake Watson here. He's a running back. Well, no, no, I'm not going running back there. Not going running back there because I I, I think I I think I want to take a flyer on Gore's kid. Um. Hmm. Do you go Sam Hartman or Joe Milton? Go for a rookie receiver. Carter Bradley, the quarterback from South Alabama, is not bad. It's kind of tough. It's kind of a tough thing. What Do you look at a quarterback? Do you look at a running back? Let's see, wide receiver-wise. Let's see if there's any. Jordan Whittington, it's not bad. Um... I don't know that I'm loving any of these receivers. I kind of like Marcus Rosemi, Jack Saint. Hmm. Seems like there's better players on the board than that. Leadric uh, Griffin from Mississippi State is a good player. Burton's a good player. Hmm. It's a t- it's a it's a tough call. Um, and then 
you know, there's also positions where you might want to go after somebody that even if you don't, you don't necessarily have a need, you just like that player. So there's always that angle as well. Do you just take somebody for depth at this point? Um, who is the best player on the board here? Let's see. Let's see who's at the very top of the all at pick 213. Okay, Keith Randolph. Hmm. Eichenberg from Ohio State's not bad. Sam Hartman. Do they go do you go quarterback here with Sam Hartman? Sam Hartman's not a bad quarterback. Uh Joe Milton, super athletic quarterback. There's a lot of interesting players that you could lean on here. Hmm. It gets harder as the as the thing goes deeper into the draft. Um I think I'm taking the safety here. Dadrian Taylor Demerson. Yeah, I mean he impressed me in the All-Star game. Pretty good hitter. I kind of like what I saw there. All right, so now let's take a look what's left. You got the offensive tackle, the corner, the linebacker, a defensive tackle, a wide receiver, an offensive tackle, an edge rusher, a linebacker, a linebacker, a corner, a safety, and you got three picks left. Um Okay, well, on offense, let's take a look at... They don't need a running back, but you do have Blake Watson. I really like him quite a bit. I love Cody Schrader, the running back from Missouri. I love this kid, Dejon Edwards from Georgia. Really like him quite a bit. But I'm going to go with Frank Gore. I think there's something about Frank Gore Jr. that... I mean, he looks so much like like his pops. Uh, I just think, you know, and if you looked at him in the All-Star game, I saw him break away for a touchdown in the Shrine game. Um, I, I like Frank Gore. I like Frank Gore. I mean, I really do. I, I mean, I don't. I see a lot of his dad in Frank Gore. All right, so now we're at 214. And at this point, you still need to bolster that defensive line. Um, and it's going to be difficult to do, um, because, you know, defensive line's a hard position to fill, but I'll, I'll give you a couple guys that I really like. I really like Marcus Harris from Auburn. I'll take him at two fourteen, And then I really like Evan Anderson from, uh, from FAU, but it's the last pick. So now it's a matter of getting just the the player that you think fell through the cracks that should have been picked in the fifth round. And it's just there. And now this is where you just don't care about position. And here it is. I like Renardo green from Florida state. Good corner. So that, I think that's it, right? That's all my picks. Or do I have one more? Yeah, I think that's it. Um, So, is it dry, is it over or did it not go over? Yeah, it's over. Okay, so um, let me just see draft results. Let me go all the way down to the bottom. No, no. Oh, I have another pick. I have picked two forty eight. Okay, so I have picked two forty eight. So I have one more selection to make. And um, what do I have? I have offensive tackle from uh, Alabama. Then I have TJ Tampa, corner. Cedric Gray, linebacker from North Carolina. Braden Fisk, defensive tackle, Florida State. Brendan Rice, wide receiver, USC. Javon Foster, offensive tackle, Missouri. Edge rusher, Muhammad Kamara, Colorado State. Two more linebackers in Nathaniel Watson and Kalen Deloach. Cornerback in Willie Drew. Safety in Dadrian Taylor Demerson. Running back in Frank Gore, defensive tackle in Marcus Harris, and cornerback in Renardo Green. And I have one more pick. All right, so who do I want to take? 
um, in this last pick. I love Evan Anderson, big body defensive tackle from uh, from Florida Atlantic. That one would be nice. Um, what else stands out? Uh, wow, Cornelius Johnson's not a bad option. Wide receiver from Michigan. Storm Duck is not a bad call. Rayshad Williams is not a bad call, but they've, I've gone heavy corner. Dejon Edwards is a is a really good player from Georgia. Love his athleticism. I just don't see him making the team. I mean, you you got to make the team. DeAndre Prince, uh, cornerback from Ole Miss. That's not bad. He's a pretty good player. Kamal Haddon, cornerback from Tennessee. That's not a bad player. I like John Trey Hunter, the linebacker from Georgia State, but don't need another linebacker. I think I'm going to go with uh, a guy who I think still on the board here deep into this thing. Jalen Harrell is not bad, the edge rusher from Michigan, but he's about 240 pounds, and that, that might be a little on the small side. Um, yeah, that's... That let's see, is there any is there a player that really stands out um late in this thing? Yabi Oki Anoma started at Michigan and was at Bama and played this year at Charlotte. He's a terrific edge rusher. He's a great athlete. I just don't know he might not quite fit the system because they, they usually like bigger defensive linemen. Um Logan Brown, the offensive tackle. I'm going to look for offensive guard because I think there's a player or two here. Here it is. Trevor Keegan. Keegan is 6'5", 3'11". This was Michigan's team captain. And there's this guy's kind of a tough ass. Um, he's really a throwback. He's kind of a throwback. Let me see. If, there's one corner I want to see if he's still on the board. The guy who played in the Canadian League. Um, Quantre, Quantrez Stiggers. Yeah, and Marcellus Dial's a good player, too. Do I need a guard or do I need another corner? I mean, it seems like the Niners have a lot of corners now. But I'm going to go with Stiggers. Stiggers is interesting. He played for the Toronto Argonauts this year and then showed up in the All-Star game. And he's a pretty good player. He's a pretty good player. So there you go. There's there's my draft. I, I traded Ayuk, and I got um, J.C. Latham from Alabama. And then I turned around, and I went corner, linebacker, defensive tackle, wide receiver, offensive tackle, edge rusher, linebacker, linebacker, corner, safety, running back, defensive tackle, corner, corner. So it's a heavy heavy defensive draft but man i mean look at look at your improvement in the secondary you added quantez stiggers renardo green dadrian taylor demerson willie drew um and tj tampa all in the back end i mean that's going to help that that means that you're going to have quality corners a couple of those guys might even be able to play safety uh, I think Stiggers might be able to play a little safety for sure. And um, I really like Renardo Green. And then offensively, you know, you may have to go sign a wide receiver uh, because, you know, I only took Brendan Rice and the whole thing didn't really shake out after that for a wide receiver. Um, but once again, let's see how many you got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's a 15 person draft class. And you've got your big time plug and play. I think you got really three or four players that can plug and play. I think you, you know, um, the Alabama offensive tackle is going to play right, right tackle right away. Tampa could start right away. Cedric Gray can start right away. Um, everybody else, I mean, there's, you know, I, you know, everybody else is more depth. Um, I could see one of those corners, you know, either Drew or Green or Stiggers, uh, being able to start right away. So, yeah, you you know, good. I, I like that draft overall. 
So there you go. Um, 15 player draft. They traded Ayuk. I took the offensive tackle from uh, from the you know that with the pick that I got in the 13th overall pick from the Raiders, and um, you still you know you lost Ayuk and you didn't replace him with anything except for Brendan Rice. So you may need to go in free agency for a receiver, but you know and and you still don't have your quarterback if you're going to have a, a third quarterback figuring Darnold moves on but you're pretty set at um you know you're pretty set at running back you you, you fortified the offensive line you got two really good tackles um along the offensive line you added uh Fisk to your defensive line you know you added and Kamara as an edge rusher uh, as well as Marcus Harris. So you added three players on your defensive line. You added a couple of really good linebackers, really three really good linebackers. Deloach, Flies, Watson is the SEC Defensive Player of the Year, and Cedric Gray was as good a linebacker as I saw this year. I mean, he was just fantastic. And then you, and then you fortified your secondary quite a bit. So there you go. Mock Draft 1.0 officially in the books. And uh, thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug Show. Thanks to uh, Underdog, or thanks to uh, uh, Underdog Fantasy. Thanks to Marin Auto Glass four one five eight eight three three zero three zero. Thanks to Valley Hill Roofing dot net as well as Sharp Corners Sports Cards and Collectibles. They're at eight three one five two one five two six four. And uh, thanks to all of you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.